Hello again, my beautiful yoga friends. Welcome to this 45 minute beginner's yoga flow. So this practice consists of postures that are a little bit more basic, more simple, and I will give a little bit more explanation than usual. If you ever feel like taking a break throughout the practice, you can come into child's pose. If you want to listen to music during the class, you can find the link to my Spotify playlist down below in the description box. I will see you on the mat. Enjoy. For our practice today, you don't need any props. Maybe you would like to have a blanket or a cushion to sit on for the opening meditation. Come to a comfortable cross-legged seated posture. Sitting on the blanket or the cushion elevates the hips so that the hip flexors can relax and the knees can sink down closer to the ground. Sit upright with your spine long. On your next inhale, draw your shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, let them sink back and down. Do this once more. Finding relaxation at the shoulders, openness across the chest. Hands are resting on the knees. Thumb and index finger come together. Close your eyes. Notice any sounds around you. Any sounds in the distance. And the sounds closer to you. Bring your awareness now to the sound of your breath. Maybe you can hear your breath as you're breathing in and out of the nose. Direct your awareness now to the sensation of your breath. See for yourself where in your body you can feel your breath. The movement the air creates. Observing the way the air takes as you inhale and as you exhale. One breath after the other. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up, palms touch, exhale hands together at your heart, bow the head forward, chin to the chest, open your eyes and lift your head, reach your arms forward, or beginning with a warm up for the joints, spreading the fingers wide and bringing the palms up and down. Arrive at the center and then spread the fingers even wider apart and then bring them together. Making fists now, finding rotation at the wrists. Check that your arms are relaxed, shoulders relaxed. And then reverse your circle. For the next movement, bring the hands to the shoulders, bring your elbows together in front of you and then find circles, shoulder rotation. Let the circles be big, movement slow and controlled.
change direction now and begin to connect breath and movement. On the inhale, you open. On the exhale, you close by bringing the elbows together. Release. And change the cross of the legs. Place your hands beside the hips. Walk your left hand over to the side. Inhale, right hand reaches up and over. Finding a side stretch. Keep opening at your chest. If comfortable in your neck, look up. Taking deep breath into the rib cage. Inhale, center both arms up. And exhale, twist to the right. Left hand comes to the right knee, right hand behind you. Make sure you're not leaning back. Your torso stays in line with your hips. Inhale, center, arms up. Exhale, release. Right hand to the ground, walking out to the side. Inhale, left hand reaches up and over. Keep your both sitting bones grounded. Opening along the left side of the body. Inhale, center, arms up. Exhale, twist over to the other side. Right hand to the left knee, left hand behind you. Inhale, center, arms up. Exhale, release. Moving your blanket, your cushion out of the way. And then transition onto all fours, coming into tabletop. Check your foundation. Your fingers are spreading wide. Wrists in line with the shoulders. Knees in line with the hips. Hip width distance apart. Flowing through cat and cow. On the inhale, tilt the pelvis forward. Arch the spine. Look front. On the exhale, reverse the movement. Tilt the pelvis back. Draw the belly in, round the spine, chin to the chest. Inhale, go forward to arch. And exhale, reverse, round. We're using this cat and cow movement to warm up through the spine. We're also finding the connection of breath and movement here. One more round. Come to neutral spine. Press the tops of the feet into the ground. Engage the core muscles. And on your exhale, lift your knees away from the ground. Only a few centimeters. Finding the activation in the lower abdominal muscles, also pressing the hands away from the ground and lifting out of the shoulders. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Knees back to the ground. Sit back on the heels. Interlace the fingers and find some relaxing movement for the wrist. Wrist rotations, back of the hands together. In yoga, we're spending a lot of time on the hands, a lot of pressure for the wrists, which is something we might not be used to. Giving them a break if they need one. Come back to tabletop. And then reach the right leg back, flexing the foot. Keeping your hip closed, that means you're rotating the right side of the hip down towards the ground. If you feel stable here, reach the left hand forward, creating one long straight line from the sole of the right foot to the fingertips of the left hand. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Change sides. Left leg one straight line behind you don't need to lift the left leg higher than the hips. Flex the left foot. 
And if you feel stable, reach the right hand forward. You can continue to look to the ground to keep the neck long and relaxed. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Walk your hands a little forward. Tuck your toes under and come into plank. You always have the option to lower the knees down. Keeping the knees up is challenging in the beginning. But make sure that you have the wrists and shoulders in one line. You're not too far back. You want to feel the activation in the core. Hold and plank. Take deep conscious breath. Inhale here. Exhale, release the knees to the ground. Release the whole body to the ground. Release the tops of the feet. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your head. Keep the elbows pointing back for baby cobra. Hold here. Inhale. Exhale, tuck your toes under. Push yourself back, downward facing dog. Bend your legs as if you wanted to bring the belly more towards the thighs. This way you can create length along the spine. Reach your hips up. Your legs can stay bent, your heels can stay lifted. It's more important to find length along the spine than to bring the heels to the ground. On your next inhale, come forward to plank. Check your distance, adjust if necessary. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the knees chest and chin to the ground keep your hips up elbows point back you might feel a little awkward in the beginning over time your body will get used to it and your muscles will remember on your next inhale sliding into baby cobra again maybe you want to lift a little higher this time making sure your shoulders are still drawing back and down elbows point back inhale here Exhale, release, tuck your toes under, transition into downward facing dog. Check your foundation, fingers are spreading wide. Upper arms are rotating outwards, creating space for the shoulders and the neck. Hips reach high, legs can stay bent. Feet are hip width distance apart. Look forward. Take as many steps as you need to reach the front of the mat. Feet hip width distance apart. Grab hold of opposite elbows and let your upper body hang. Legs can be bent. If it feels nice, you can swing the torso from side to side. Eventually arrive back in the center, release the hands to the ground, inhale lift halfway, hands are sliding towards the shins, focus on finding length along the spine, if you feel that you're rounding you can slide the hands up higher just below the knees. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, release all the way forward. Standing forward fold, Uttanasana. Use your next inhale to come up all the way. Arms are opening over the sides, palms touch. And then exhale, release the hands. Step your feet together. Big toes touch, heels are slightly apart. Your legs are strongly engaged. Your pelvis comes to neutral. You're drawing the lower belly in, slightly drawing your tailbone in and under. Roll your shoulders up and down again, creating openness at the chest. Hands are resting besides the body. Neck is long, chin parallel to the ground. Mountain pose, Tadasana. 
We flow through Surya Namaskara A, Sun Salutation A. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Legs can be bent. Inhale, half lift, long straight spine. Exhale, release, hands to the ground and step both feet back into plank. Inhale here. Exhale, release your knees, chest and chin to the ground. Inhale to cobra, lift your chest. Exhale to downward facing dog. Settle into stillness here and focus on taking conscious, controlled breath. Maybe with time you can release the heels closer to the ground, straighten the legs. But don't compromise the length of the spine. Look forward. Step to the front. Feet together. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, release, fold forward. Inhale, straight spine, come up to standing, arms up. Exhale, release the hands back to mountain pose. We repeat. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, lifting halfway. Ada Uttanasana. Exhale, hands down, step to plank. Inhale here, hold. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin to the ground. Slow transitions. Inhale, sliding forward to cobra, elbows still point back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pushing the hips up. Drawing the lower core in. Rotating your upper arms outwards. Look forward, step to the front. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to standing, arms up. And exhale, release. We we'll begin with our flow. Inhale, arms up, gaze follows. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, half lift, either hands on the shins or fingertips on the ground. Exhale, step to plank. Hold here, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, slide into cobra. Exhale, transition into downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot up, three-legged downward facing dog. Exhale, step the right foot forward. If it's hard for you to reach the front, you can use the right hand to bring the right foot all the way forward. Left hand stays on the ground in line with the right foot. Option to come up onto the fingertips. Inhale, reach your right hand up. Open the chest to the right. Easy twist. Keep the left leg straight. Don't let the knee sink down. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Stable foundation through the feet and the legs. Inhale, reach your arms up. Lift your torso, coming into high lunge. Check that your hips are squared forward. Right side gently pulling back. Left side pushing forward. Rotating the left side of the hip down to the ground, intensifying the stretch for the front of the left thigh. 
Inhale here. Exhale, hands to the heart. Adjust your feet for warrior two. Left heel down. Turn the foot out 90 degree angle. Right foot points straight forward. Check that the right heel is in line with the arch of the back foot. We're finding dynamic movement here to warm up through the hips. Inhale, reach your arms up, straighten the right leg. Exhale, sit deep, warrior two. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Doing one more. And then arrive in your warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, windmill the hands to the ground. Lift the left heel. Step back to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Take a few breaths here. And then over to the other side. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, step the left foot forward. You can use the left hand if the foot does not arrive all the way at the front by itself. Right hand stays on the ground, either palm down or on the fingertips. Inhale, left hand reaches up, open your chest to the left. Finding a twist in the upper body. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Stable foundation. Inhale to come up, high lunge. Check for a moment here what your hips are doing. You want to sit deep. You want to rotate the right side of the hip forward and down. Maintaining the length and the extension in the right leg. Right heel is lifted. Arms are reaching up. Shoulders are relaxed. Inhale here. Exhale, hands to the heart. Adjust your feet for warrior two. Right heel down, foot 90 degree angle. Left heel in line with the inner arch of the right foot. Then sink into the hips. Making sure that you're engaging the lower core to bring the pelvis in a more neutral position. And then find your dynamic movement. Inhale, left leg straight, arms up, look up. Exhale, sit deep. Doing two more. Make sure that you're maintaining the connection of the back foot with the ground. Arrive in your warrior two. Check that your back arm is not sinking down. Inhale here. Exhale, windmill the hands to the ground. Step to plank. Inhale. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Down Dog. Take a pause here. If you feel that you've come out of breath, you can always go into Child's Pose. Look forward. Big step to the front now. Inhale, Half Lift. Your choice, hands on the shins or fingertips on the ground. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Release. Inhale, come to standing, arms up. Exhale, release the hands. Take a few breaths here. Returning to your deep, steady rhythm. We're coming into a standing balancing posture. Tree pose. Keep your gaze fixed at one point for focus and balance. Right foot stays on the ground. Left foot comes up either to the calf or if you want, you can also with your left hand help the foot to come all the way up to your inner thigh close to the hips. Left knee is pointing out to the side. And then either bring the hands to the heart Or reach the hands up. You can also open the hands. And 
to leave the posture, bring the hands to the heart. Lift the left knee up in front of you. And then with control, step all the way back. Plant the left heel down for 90 degree angle. We're coming into triangle pose. Open your arms. Inhale, reach the right hand forward. Exhale, right hand to the right shin. Inhale, left hand reaches up. Look up. Only go deeper if you can keep the chest open, torso in the same plane as the legs. To come out, look down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release, hands to the heart. Widen your stance even more, back into warrior two. Open the arms again, and then place your right forearm onto the right thigh. Reach the left hand up and over towards the front, extended side angle. Press the right forearm away from the right thigh. Make sure you're not collapsing into the right arm, into the right shoulder. Find length along the spine. Openness at the chest. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to the ground, back to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, with control. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Take a few conscious, controlled breath here. Look forward, step forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to standing, come up. Exhale, release. Take a few breaths here. Returning to your deep, steady breathing. Left foot stays on the ground. Coming into tree pose on the other side. Right foot either to the calf or the inner thigh. Knee is pointing out to the side. Either bring the hands together at your heart, staying here, gaze fixed at one point for focus. Or you can reach the arms up, maybe opening at the hands. Bring the hands together at the heart again. Right knee forward. And with control, step the right foot back. Plant the foot down. Coming into triangle pose. Long stance, but not as long as for warrior two. Arms open. Inhale, left hand reaches forward. Exhale, left hand to the left shin. This is your support, but that doesn't mean you're collapsing into the left hand. You're kind of lifting out and away from the left hand, the left shin. Pull the right hip back, open at the chest, reach the right hand up. To come out, look to the ground, inhale, come up. And exhale, release the arms, hands to the heart. Lengthen your stance now, warrior two stance. Sink into the left leg, left leg 90 degrees. Open the arms. And then come into extended side angle. Left forearm to the left thigh, right hand reaches up and over. Don't collapse here, 
find that lifting motion. Keep the left leg bent 90 degree. Keep your chest open, right side of the hip open. Inhale up. Exhale, windmill the hands to the ground, step to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin. Inhale, slide forward, cobra, elbows point back. Exhale into downward facing dog. Over time, downward dog becomes a resting pose. Look forward, step to the front. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to standing, arms up. Exhale, release. Check that your legs are together, feet together, coming into chair pose. On your next inhale, bend your legs, sit the hips back and down, reach your arms up. Draw the lower core in, lengthening at the lower back. Make sure that you can still see your big toes here. Your knees are not exceeding the toes. We are lowering ourselves to the ground now. Bend your legs even more, sink the hips towards the ground. Reach the hands forward for balance. And then maybe without using the hands, you can come to sitting. Bring the hands now behind the thighs. Keep the legs together. Lean back, keeping the chest open. Lift the feet, shins parallel to the ground. For Navasana, boat pose. You can stay here, hands at the thighs. Or reach the arms forward. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, release the feet to the ground. Fold yourself forward, wrapping the arms around the legs. Taking deep breath into the abdomen, relaxing your core muscles. Lift your head again, reach the arms forward and with control, lower yourself all the way down onto the ground. Step your feet closer in, hip width distance apart. Check that with your fingertips you can reach the back of the heels. Coming into bridge pose. On your next inhale, lift your hips. Try to interlace the fingers here to bring the shoulders further in underneath you. Strongly press the feet into the ground. Lift the hips higher. Open at your chest and gently press the back of the head into the ground to find space and openness at the throat. Make sure your knees are not opening out to the sides. They're pointing straight forward. Don't turn your head in this position. Keep looking straight up. Inhale here. Exhale, release the hands, release the hips. Walk your feet met with distance apart. Let the knees fall into one another. Place one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly, and close your eyes. Take this pause, this moment in stillness to observe the breath. Feeling the breath in the body. And then hug the legs in towards the chest. Find a little bit of movement here from side to side, massaging the lower back. Stop the movement. Bring your hands behind the thighs. And then start rolling up and down the spine. Only if this feels good, otherwise find another way to come back up to sitting. Sit upright with your legs extended forward, feet flexed. 
If you notice that your lower back is rounding, that sitting upright is challenging for you, you can sit elevated here on your blanket or your cushion. Another option would be to bend the legs to bring the pelvis more to neutral. Check which variation works for you. And then bend the right leg in, let the knee fall out to the side, sole of the foot comes to the inner thigh of the left leg. Sit upright, inhale here, find length along the spine, and then exhale, begin to fold forward, walking the hands forward and using your breath to go deeper into the posture. Maybe you can bring the hands to the left leg or the left foot. Every inhalation creates length along the spine. Every exhalation sinks you a little deeper. If you notice that you're rounding, that's an indicator that you've gone too far. Slowly come back up. Bring the right knee up and step the right foot to the outside of the left leg. Firmly press the foot into the ground. Right hand behind you. Inhale, left hand reaches up. Exhale, twist. You can either hook the elbow, or if that's too intense, you can just wrap your arm around the leg. Every inhalation, you're lengthening along the spine. Every exhalation, you're twisting deeper. Inhale, center. Exhale, release. Change sides. Left leg bends in. Knee falls out to the side. Sole of the foot to the right inner thigh. Sit upright. And then from here, come into your forward fold. Inhale, length. Exhale, depth. When you notice that your spine is rounding, your chest is closing, maybe you need to come a little out of the posture. Keep the right leg active, right foot flexed. Come back up. Lift the left knee. And step the foot to the outside of the right leg. Left hand behind you. Inhale, right hand reaches up. Exhale, twist. Find your arm variation here, either hooking the elbow or hugging the arm around the leg. You're reaching the crown of the head up. There's this feeling of lengthening from the hips to the crown of the head. Twisting along the whole spine. Inhale, center. Exhale, release. Check that there is enough mat space behind you so that you can roll yourself back onto the ground again. Bring your legs up. Extend the legs, soles of the feet are looking towards the ceiling. Open the arms out to the sides into a T-shape. You can turn your palms up. You can also place your blanket or your cushion underneath your hips to elevate the hips a little bit. Your legs can be relaxed now. We're finding a gentle inversion to finish off the practice. You can already close your eyes and let your breath become softer. We're slowly coming out of the posture. 
by bending the legs, releasing the feet to the ground, moving any props out of the way, and then extending the legs out to find Shavasana, your final relaxation posture. You want to be warm here and comfortable as your body temperature might drop as you arrive in stillness and find full relaxation. Your feet are about met with distance apart, falling out to the sides. Your arms are slightly away from your body with palms facing up. Your shoulders are relaxed, your neck is long, and your eyes are softly closed. Your breath has returned back to its natural rhythm now. Gently breathing in and out of the nose. Your whole body is still and relaxed. There's no more physical movement. The only movement is that of your breath. Your heartbeat. And the energy that is circulating throughout your whole body. Allow your body this time in stillness. With every out breath, diving a little deeper into relaxation. Letting go a little bit more.
bring your awareness back to your breath now and take a few deeper breaths, signaling your body that it's time to come back out of Shavasana. Wake up your body by bringing movement into the hands and feet. Rotating your wrists and your ankles. And turning your head from side to side. Bend your legs, step the feet in. And roll yourself over onto your favorite side. Keep your eyes closed. Take a few breaths here. When you feel ready, press yourself back up, coming into your cross-legged seated posture. With your eyes still closed, find a few more grounding, centering breath. Inhale, reach your arms up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to the heart. Bow the head forward, chin to the chest. And then open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for joining my beautiful yoga friends. Let me know in the comments how you like this practice, especially if you are a beginner. How did you feel after the practice? Also, let me know in the comments what other kind of classes you are looking for. If you want to support me, please give this video a like and share it with your friends. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. If you want to support me financially, you can leave a donation using the PayPal link that you can also find down below in the description box. I will see you again next time. Namaste.